Um, but I've known Tom a long time because Tom started out up in the... I, I, did you start out in the Texas Panhandle? I think in Stanette. Stanette's just south of Groover, about 35, 36 miles. Danny Poole knows where Stanette is uh, very well. You grew up in Morris, didn't you? Or was it Stanette? Okay. So, so you've got at least two Panhandle boys in here and, and three from the, the pastor that was there. And I accused him a little while ago of bringing the, the West Texas Panhandle weather, the wind down here, because this is normal for Groover. I forget how the wind blows up there. I go up there and I think, my gosh, the wind blows. But anyway, we're so happy that you're here. So Tom was the pastor in Groover in 1978 through 82 when our church blew, uh, burned to the ground. Uh, a horrible blizzard blew in one night. The, the, uh, uh, it, the wind was so bad it caused the electrical wiring in the back of the church, I believe, to arc and set it on fire or something along those lines. Okay. Anyway, it burnt to the ground and... Uh, my daddy and a lot of other people worked with Tom to get that mess cleaned up and picked up in the middle of that blizzard. And, and then Tom was part of that raising money, I suppose, for the building project there. Did they get the new church built while you were there? Okay. So Tom, and so my sisters know Connie. My sisters are twins. Connie's a twin, if I'm not mistaken. And so my family and Tom's family just go back a lot. And it means a lot to me for us to be able to bring him here because not only is he a friend, which we don't ever see one another hardly, except at maybe annual conference every four or five years, but Tom is a scholar, like I've told you, on John Wesley and Charles Wesley. And us just having disaffiliated from the United Methodist Church and becoming Global Methodist Church, I think it's just really important that we focus in on Wesleyanism, Wesleyanism uh, and uh, our roots. And Tom's going to let you know right up front, this isn't anything new. Change has been going on for a long time within the church in different ways and different factions. And it, it's... Uh, I think you're really going to get so much out of this. I know you're going to get a lot out of this series. Well, anyway, enough about all of that. Tom was in Oakwood and Lubbock for about eight years or so, and then he was a general evangelist in the United Methodist Church from 06 to 2013 until uh, the disaffiliation happened and Tom became a global Methodist preacher back about that time. And now he is volunteer pastor at Oakwood in Lubbock, Texas. And I think that that's probably about all I need to say right now. I don't want to take any more away from Tom. But just again, Tom and Connie, we just give you the, a warm welcome from First Methodist Church here in Odessa, Texas. We're thrilled that you're here, and we're just going to turn it over. Tom's going to also have some books and stuff out at some point. He's written several books on Tom Wesley. Again, he's a scholar. You want to try to get some if you can. Uh, a scholar is just someone who knows a little bit more than you do <laughs> in one narrow area. So... <laughs> Thank you, uh, uh, Jody, my good friend, my forever friend, for that exaggerated introduction. <laughs> uh, 